Hey YouTube, ladies and jets of the world, Sparky Marky Mark 23 here coming to you live. Well, it's April 27th, as you can see here, and it was one day after the release of Avengers 4 Endgame. But anyway, I didn't want to go see it to, like yesterday or today. I'm planning it to see it on the 28th with my pals and homegirls tomorrow to watch Avengers 4 Endgame. Since thank God I picked up, everybody picked up for the 430 showing, standard. No 3D, not as well as IMAX, but huh. Anyway, I can't wait to see that film. I'm like anxious, I'm excited, I've been hearing a lot of hullabaloos, a lot of hollerings. So yeah. So anyway, I'm back with the soundtrack for this music, which I think would have fit better in Captain America 2. So anyway, let's get down to what's up. Hmm. Now, I'm showing you here a box, a G-Shark box, not your basic rectangular one or the much bigger box you get in the US. No, this is a Japan box that you can only get it from Japan. Whether you get it from Rakuten Global Market and their watch marketplace, or you go to shopping shoppingjapan.com, get any piece you like except Rise Man has been discontinued, which is a bummer. Oh well, it is what it is. So, what's in here? Hmm, what's going on? Hmm, why is it empty? Hmm. Anyway, take this out and pull this out. This is how you're gonna get your watch in a box. Now, where's the box? Hmm, anyway. <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> right here is a 32, I mean 34 module number. Hmm, this one's for a G-Sharp. To G-Sharp fans and G-Sharp aficionados and all you young bucks out there know what is this module number for. And this is a jewelry box that comes with the watch in it and a pillow. Hmm, now what's in this piece? Hmm, we already know the module number, so don't fool around, y'all, in a good jewelry box. Voila! This is a GDX 6900C, I mean, CS. Same with the CS in this model that I just showed. Hmm, I don't know, my laptop's a bit magnetic with, with the can. But here is this I'm gonna be reviewing. And do a little comparison. This one is representing the color for one other Marvel character. And it's Captain America. Steve Rogers, played by Chris Evans. So, anyway, with this piece, you have your LED Illuminati back, backlight, y'all. Even though they were doing Iron Man and Captain America, hmm, it should have Captain America shield in it. But the colors do represent Captain America, so, yeah. And it's coined as a Captain America watch. Blue straps, white bezel with red letterings, blue dis blue positive display or negative display, whatever you like to call it. Red face of the watch. And is the 32 ah oh, shut <laughs> is the 3420 module. And it's the pillow that comes with the watch in it. Any piece you order from Japan. You'll get it directly with the pillow in it in the jewelry box. Very nice one. Definitely has a little reference to the 6900s, your basic normal size. And also the back of it hmm, has the GD400 as well as um, the DW290. It's That's not a G-Shark, that's just a regular Casio watch, but I'll get to that other one but it's a different, but the, the body of the back. But let's concentrate on this. Let's draw for this one. A32 GD1 18 PUS PU2 uh, PUR yeah. Same thing written on the first side uh, 
Oh well, <laughs> beggars can be choosers. You got your basic functions, which you already know from other videos. If you've seen your regular GG 6900s, world time alarm, and may have snooze or not. And it also has a stopwatch, and my personal favorite of the module is the timer. That's my favorite. Then you have your a lot other side. I believe the other one was snooze. And you're back to your home time. Oh boy, here we go, y'all. I can't believe I'm excited for tomorrow for the book and for adventures. see a little referencing because in my opinion I'm seeing a little reference with these films like the Phantasm films. Good night dad. Alright so anyway um this is what you're seeing here. I'm looking at this as Phantasm 3 Lord of the Dead. Alright and the opening is gonna be like Phantasm 4 in my opinion with Texas Chainsaw Massacre in some way. So, yeah, and I already talked about the music, about, um, perhaps not, um, anyway, in my opinion, they should have kept doing soundtracks, they could have called Korn or any punk rock bands who want to do the music for this movie, or any of the Avengers movie, but these two, we got good soundtracks from Soundgarden and Korn, if you know Korn, they did good songs in the late 90s. I started listening to that band when I was, like, again, in eight, when I was in third grade, when I was eight at the time, 20 years ago, and attending elementary school, and I remember I would always stick to watching MTV, and I would listen to Korn, or two, I mean, there are a few hit songs, good music videos, not bad, even like the comic book type one, the other one, but I'll get to that to the other video about music. And what you're looking at here is that we are finally getting a fourth one. I already bragged about the movie. But let's do a little comparison quick. Right, to see what is a difference or maybe there could be a same size comparison. Hmm. I mean, what do you see from a standpoint? Let me put this since GDX was a. Oh, what the hell. Hmm. Judging by this, this is another King G that we're getting. But the GDX has a longer strap, so this is the biggest out of this one. Blood? Captain America and Iron Man. Steve Rogers, Tony Stark. You're, you guys are listening to this, guys. Dudes, get your hands on these pieces. You play these characters. You gotta get your hands on these pieces. I mean, you guys gotta represent your character. I mean, even though Tony's a rich dude with expensive watches in his collection, and Steve doesn't even wear a watch. Huh. I mean, uh, Chris doesn't, I don't know, but dudes, you played these characters, you gave us good memories, please give us that, I mean, please show us that you are faithful to your character. This is a must in my collection. Oh, this is what I hate the most blackout screen. Hmm. 
infrared and white LED and micro light or just display the rest of the watch. Micro orange light. Thank God it's not your incandescent micro bulb that you got years ago with the other models. Speaking of which, you gotta get, I mean, I believe there's already a blacked out G-Shock, but it should have been around the same time as Black Panther. Give us a Thor collabo watch, Spider-Man watch, even though there was Spider-Man watch, but I believe that was limited to like maybe a hundred or a thousand. Give us a Iron Patriot watch, give us a Falcon watch, give us a Hulk watch, give us the Hawkeye watch, Nick Fury G-Shocks, I mean... Or give us the Black Widow G-Shock. You already gave us the Captain America and the Iron Man G-Shocks. Why not give us the rest? Or how about Guardians of the Galaxy watches or Thanos G-Shock collabo kind of thing pieces? Please do that for the fans who grew up or are already into these um, movies, of course. And also G-Shock as well. I mean, give us what we like. I mean, I hope we get, like, maybe an Infinity Gauntlet G-Shock that gives, uh, let's see, the straps can represent the colors of the Infinity Stones. Or perhaps just give us the, or just give us, like, a Gauntlet G-Shock. And the display would have, and when you light up the watch, it would give us the Infinity Stones. All of them. And... That's how it, I believe that's, well, that would be a great idea. Definitely. And perhaps give us a Winter Soldier G-Shock. So anyway, that's all you want to know, folks. Rock on with a G-Shock on. It's Sparky. Peace!